How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back to share some more ideas to live a healthy, conscious life. So today our topic is on slowing down, because as everybody is very aware of nowadays, or maybe not even aware of, but in the back of their head they know that this is uh, an issue now, is that our society is just so fast paced, right? Everything just keeps progressing at an exponential rate that it, now it's just second nature for us, right? This rat race that we're in is just so fast and it's and being familiar, we're not conscious of it anymore. You're never really com conscious of the familiar. You become comfortable with it that you don't even notice it anymore. So that's why our topic today is just on slowing down, deliberately slowing down. Because just by slowing down, it will be an unfamiliar thing for you. And by being unfamiliar, you become conscious of it because we are conscious, more conscious with the unfamiliar. So our goal here in our self-development journey is to become more conscious. So by deliberately slowing down, you will be introducing an element to help you become more conscious and aware by deliberately slowing down some of the things in your life it will help you become more conscious and aware so just a few ideas on how you can slow down in your just day-to-day -day life so one uh, simple idea is just with walking just slow down to half the pace that you're normal normally walk and when you do this by slowing down like I said it will be unfamiliar because of your usual pace like with me and my wife my wife always tells me like slow down because I I am a fast walker compared to her so when I walk at her pace which is a lot slower than mine it helps you become aware in different ways that you're not accustomed to because you know our bodies have their own intelligence, their own muscle memory. So in deliberately slowing down your body and you know the body-mind connection as well, you will become aware of your body in new ways and you will become aware of your mind in new ways. So when you slow down your pace of your walk, you will then be able to notice yourself walking. So just notice yourself walking. Because as, as most people, uh, let's say in the city, and this rat race that I spoke about, everybody's just buzzing around, just moving around, and not even aware of themselves doing it. So that's an easy one, just by slowing down your walking, your pace, it will help you to become aware of new things. And when you're walking and you slow down your pace and notice yourself walking, take the opportunity to then Notice your surroundings in new ways because with your increased awareness now by, by disengaging from an automatic behavior it will release awareness and consciousness to be available for you to just become aware of your simple existence in the moment as you're walking and then to also take in your environment much more consciously and as you do this try to Keep sensation on your body and just don't forget who is walking you know who, don't forget the intelligence that is cognizing this experience so try to become aware of your inner world and outer world simultaneously as you're doing this and I wrote uh, an article on this I did a video on this on how to divide your attention in this special way that I'm just talking about right now so if you want to check that video out it's uh, how to not be a smartphone zombie check that video out that would be helpful and what's another way okay another way is also just to pause a few seconds before you respond when you're talking so when you're conversating with somebody or with people you know just take a short pause because you're just trying to interrupt a lot of this, these mechanical habits. I mean, like when I go to a coffee shop, 
and I just see people just gossiping and you see that it's just kind of like a broken record you know the gossiping it's just an unconscious automatic habit that just you know it's a broken record and it's funny because when something does interrupt this broken record because it is not a conscious habit most people aren't even aware of what they're talking about you know they, they forget their train of thought because it's not conscious and they realize that or they don't realize it was just an unconscious process and they really don't have any awareness of the words coming out of their mouth so by just pausing uh, before you actually speak it will help you to become aware of your thinking process and also just to become more aware of what you're about to say so that's another little simple idea to incorporate and uh, the last little tip is just to yeah with your hands just to slow down your movements with your hands uh, you know when I first moved to Asia that was another thing that was very interesting was because I never had to use chopsticks before I, I never uh, became proficient you know like I eat Asian food back in America but I always used a, a, a fork and spoon you know uh, but by using uh, the chopsticks for the first time you know I had to train myself and because I had to train myself you know just uh, um, by doing that it, it's you know it brings a whole different awareness to my body because I never had to use my body in that way and I had to just I was a lot slower in my movements so it just brought a whole different awareness to that so you can try things like that you know try to do the maybe chopsticks if, you, if you've never used them and just be deliberately small, um, s slower with your movements so when you're reaching for things just be aware that you're doing that and by slowing down your movements it will bring a different quality to it it will bring a different experience to it that you will uh, get additional insight into into your own inner experience so those are the just the three uh, simple ideas guys so the message for today is just to slow down slow down and smell the roses as they say and just by doing that it will bring a whole different dimension to your normal experience because as we said you know we have now become a society of where it's just speed it's all about speed and since it's become a familiar thing we've become lost in that world of speed so just learn to stay take a step back from all that and it will definitely help you on your uh, self-development journey so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed that I hope you found some value in some of those ideas so uh, if you are new to my channel subscribe share my content I really appreciate it and wherever you are in the world take care have a good day Peace.